Over the years, I've uh, upgraded this old uh, Bosch drill to uh, lithium ion cells. The uh, NICADs were uh, well, well and truly dead, and that has proven uh, very valuable. And even though it's an old model, it uh, still functions very well. And even if it's any light duties, even just mixing paint, it's very useful around the shop. Um, when I've made up these packs in the past, uh, this is a three cell pack in the, in the drill at the moment. And I've got a four cell pack here. What I did was to put on uh, just a balance charge cord and use my hobby uh, radio control model charger to, to charge the batteries, which has, has worked fine. But sometimes it is a pain to take it out of the shop and then go and find your, your RC charger and set it up. Now for other projects, which uh, there will always be links in the, in the description to these things, uh, for a torch project uh, I used a similar sort of arrangement for the batteries and uh, I was using a, a battery management system, a BMS board, but that didn't have um, the balancing, so that wasn't really appropriate in these sort of heavy uses. Uh, it was okay in the, in the torch, it wasn't taking much current, but at here, you know, these things can take a lot of current, especially if you happen to, to stall the thing. So I was looking for an alternative uh, BMS board and came across uh, this guy from my favorite Chinese Emporium. Now this is a four cell um, battery management board so it will protect you against overcharge and over discharge, short circuits, pretty much everything. And it also has the, the balance circuit and comes with a handy balance lead, nice, uh, nice silicon leads there. And so I'm gonna try that in uh, in the box along with the cells it doesn't take out much space uh, unfortunately it's not compatible with the balance charge cable i have so the first thing i'm going to do is to uh, to solder these cables on in place of the original ones and show you how the the battery and the power connections are done and uh, the uh, description on the on the website is uh, in uh, perfect chinglish and uh, may be totally incomprehensible to some people. So we'll just go through that now. Here we are on the website that I purchased these devices from and I bought the three off and that works out at uh, only about two euros fifty a piece so uh, you can't complain at that. And as I mentioned before it does the overcharge detection and over discharge overcharge, detection, delay, 0.1 of a second, temperature, short circuit, and overcurrent, balance current, 60 milliamps, just to balance the cells out, working current, 30 amps, so that should be fine for the drill in normal circumstances, overcurrent at 60 amps, and short circuit function. So if the thing does uh, disconnect due to a short circuit, you just need to pull the battery from the drill, put it back, and uh, you should be good to go. And it's quite a small board, as we saw. So we can see the features there. Now, when it comes down to the Chinglish, um, pretty much if anybody can, uh, can decipher this for me, I'm usually pretty good at these things, but especially the battery charging detection interface with DC output in the form of a needle, do the same mouth when N minus is not wiring. Well, that's a, a mystery to me. I'm sure that we don't really need to know. Anyway, um, the useful thing on this page is obviously the wiring diagram. And I've gone ahead and uh, changed the connections over for the supplied uh, wiring cable. And so we'll take a look at that and how we connect the cables now to the to the drill and for for the charging. What on earth is going on here? Well to start with we've now wired the negative of the battery pack to the battery negative of the BMS board. The battery positive goes to B plus so that's that and we have the 
contacts for the drill itself and for charging go to the P plus and the P minus. This meter here is measuring the pack voltage. This meter here is measuring current. So currently <laughs> it's zero. And we're going to be using this meter just to check the balance of the, of the cells. Now I have this at the moment rigged up to my uh, uh, stabilized power supply. So I'm just going to switch that on. It's set for 17 volts and one amp. So now we can see that the obviously the pack voltage is, is rising, 1606, 1607. We have the current here at uh, 1.05 amps. So let's just um, take a check again on the balance condition of the cells. So the first cell, sorry about my meter, I have to fix that as well, 4.18. Second cell, 3.981. The third cell, 3.881. And finally the fourth cell, which is 4.038. So they're not terribly out of balance, but they are out of balance. So what will be interesting now, um, as the obviously as the voltage increases, the current's going to decrease, and at some point the charge will terminate. Now, how we determine that at this moment in time, I'm not entirely sure, but um, we'll leave it set as that, and I'll come back when I believe the charge is finished. The end of charge condition has been met. Now, how do we know this? Well, firstly, we notice that there's no current. With no current flowing, it's obviously not taking charge anymore. And we can verify that with our meter here. If we measure across the battery terminals, we get 1704. And if we measure across the input terminals, we get 17.1. So effectively, the battery has been disconnected from the power source. And if we have a look at the cells with regard to the balance, the first cell, 4.28, second cell, 4.25, third cell, 4.24, and the last cell, 4.27. So they're in good shape, they're, they're well balanced, the, the balanced circuitry here has done its job. So the board is working uh, as advertised, the, the balanced circuit has worked very well and now it's disconnected itself to prevent any overcharge condition. So I'd say that was a result.